Everybody, it's me, it's me, Timmy Flyers guy. I gotta come on here and do these videos in the regular format now. I am feeling, I am getting better, and I'm starting to come around again. And I got my voice back, and I just gotta say it's good to have my voice back. Hey everybody, it's me, Timmy Flyers guy, and welcome to the Orange and Black Recap. I'm your host, Timmy Flyers Guy. Last night, the Philadelphia Flyers faced off against the Carolina Hurricanes. It was a 2-1 loss. It was a 3-2 loss in overtime for the Philadelphia Flyers. But they got the important point in the loss against Carolina. They got one point in that game. Due to the loss to Carolina. But a very crucial point for the Philadelphia Flyers last night against a very good Carolina Hurricanes team that are guaranteed to make the playoffs. But it was a great effort for the Flyers last night. You gotta give Sam Harrison a lot of credit. He, played, he made some excellent saves in that game. Kept the Flyers in the game several times, even when they're we're down the goal. He, he kept finding ways to help his hockey team try to get the win last night. In that game, we saw Scott Lawton get the first goal for the Flyers. The Flyers did have the first goal at one point, but it was waved off due to the, an offside call. Um, but Carolina got the, they got the first goal, but Scott Lawton with a nice, a nice play, just goes in, scores on Anderson, and is 1-1 at that point. Um, in the second period, Carolina got the goal, it was 2-1 Carolina, going into the third, Flyers tie it up, as Travis Konechny ties the score for the Philadelphia Flyers. I'm glad to see Konechny finding his game again. Finding his game again. He's been quiet lately, but played a damn good game last night. Sean Couturier is still not really in the lineup. I don't know what is going on. I'm not going to speculate. Unlike the media, I have respect for people's, for people's privacy. So I'm not going to uh, really comment on that. But, but last night's game, it was a pretty good game. Um, even though we didn't get two points, still got the crucial one point by forcing the game to go to overtime. I wanted to see the Flyers at least get a point in this game because one point or two points right now, especially when you're trying to make the playoffs, is very crucial right now. So we'll take any points we can get. As it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy tomorrow when the Flyers will face off against the Boston Brewers at one PM. I will be recapping that game right after I'll be recapping that game. Not right I'm re recapping that game like tomorrow evening, so stay tuned for that. Flyers will face off against the Boston Brewers and I have an interesting story to tell you. When I went to Flyers games, I've never seen the Philadelphia Flyers beat the Boston Bruins at home. 
Never seen it in my life. Never seen it in my life. Every time I went to a game where the Flyers played the Bruins at home, the Flyers would lose to the Bruins, and it would be a blowout loss. And it all started... My loss is his loss, I'm sorry. Somewhere around the 07 08 season, where they lost to the Bruins, and over time, I went to that game, and they lost to the Bruins in 2009. I also went to that game during the 2008 2009 Flyer season. Uh, didn't go to a Flyer Bruins game. In 2010, uh, then go to my next Flyer Bruins game, the Flyer Bruins game in December of 2011, which was a blowout victory. You can remember that game where Flyer was shut out 5 0. One of my frustrating losses of the season. I still remember a fan saying, Well, somebody please score a goal. I remember that day. And then, 2014, same shit, got a loss to the Bruins. I don't know what it is, but every time I went to a Flyers, Bruins game at the Wells Fargo Center, it was always a loss. I, I, I don't know what it was. I guess bad timing, I don't know. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Orange and Black Recap. I'm happy to see the Flyers are playing some good hockey again. Didn't get the victory, but they they fought back. They got the they got a very important point as the Flyers continue continue their march to the playoffs. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. So it's gonna be a bumpy ride. So everybody better hang on because it's gonna be a bumpy ride to the playoffs this year. But that bumpy ride is gonna be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Month of March is almost over. And if the Flyers can end this month on a high note, then they can go into April feeling good about their chances of making the playoffs. I'm Timmy Flyers Guy. And this has been the Orange and Black Recap. I will see you in the next recap when I recap the Flyers... Bruins game Saturday evening, so stay tuned for that. Have a great day, everyone. Let's go, Flyers. It's clutch time. It's clutch time. Sorry, I'm having trouble reaching that. Okay, so, alright.